subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is phylum mollusca phylum mollusca now first the examples and how to remember it sepia that is your cuttlefish pintoda is your pearl oyster we get pearls from this dentalium tusk shell they resemble the elephant tusk cheetoplora that is cheton loligo squid pila apple snail octopus and aplysia that is your sea hare now the trick to remember is first se octopus dekhenge pehle aap chai pee lo p of fir is for pintoda c is for sepia octopus is for octopus dekhenge d den d e of dekhenge is for dentalium pehle doesn't mean anything up is for aplysia chai is for cheetoplura p is for pila and lo is for loligo so fir se octopus dekhenge pehle aap chai pee lo characteristics of mollusca they are the second largest phylum after orthoproda they are terrestrial as well as aquatic the aquatic ones may be fresh water or marine organ system level of organization is seen means in this organ systems are found they show bilateral symmetry means the body can be divided into two equal halves at one plane passing through the center they are triploblastic means three layered body wall that is ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm and they are coelomate that is body cavity is present but they have a reduced body cavity the body is covered by a calcareous shell now this is the shell that covers the body now they have an unsegmented body that can be divided into three parts distinct head this is the head visceral hump and a muscular foot now this is the muscular foot now visceral hump has the visceral organs like the organs for digestion and circulation while muscular foot helps in locomotion now the only exception in this case is neopilina which has a segmented body Now neopilina is said to be a connecting link between annelida and mollusca. Now the skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump. Now the skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump. The space between the mantle and the visceral hump is the mantle cavity. so mantle cavity is the space between the visceral hump and the mantle now the mantle secretes the calcareous shell
head has eyes and the sensory tentacles. Feather like gills are present in the mantle cavity. This is the mantle cavity and these are the feather like gills present in the mantle cavity. They are referred as tenidia. They help in respiration and excretion. The anus opens into the mantle cavity. Mouth has radula. Now this is the mouth which has radula. Now radula are file like sharp rasping organs. They are meant for feeding and mastication of food. So the mouth has a file like rasping organ called the radula which helps in feeding while the anus lies in the opens in the mantle cavity. They have a open circulatory system the nervous system has many paired ganglia, connective and nerve cords. Now these are the nerve cords. They are dioecious, means sexes are separate. Oviparous, they lay eggs. Fertilization is both internal or external. And development is indirect, means they have the larval stage during development. The most common larva is the trochophore, but in some veligar and glochidium is also seen. Now the glochidium is the parasitic stage of the larva. So these are the characteristics of phylum mollusca. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.